A fire at a church in Aurora has other church leaders worried about their safety. They, the current political climate is creating a dangerous situation, they say. Someone firebombed the Aurora First Presbyterian Church back in March. Police have yet to make an arrest in that case. Your reporter in Aurora, Tori Mason, got a look at the damage after that attack, and Tori visited a church in Denver for tonight's story. And Tori, this, these church leaders, they really worry that hateful rhetoric makes them a target. Well, predominantly African-American churches, Karen, have long been a target because they've been the source of a lot of progress in this country. They've long been bastions of hope, and they still are. This one in Denver has been around for half a century. Friendship Baptist celebrates 50 years of worship. It's been a place for peace and refuge, and even in darkness, Jesus. Pastor Burleson finds light. Most of the messages are dealing with how do we grow. Church has long been the backbone of black communities, from the time of slave rebellions to empowering congregations to vote. The spirit of endurance lives on today. What gives the black church its soul? The difference between how we worship is based on the experiences I think that we've gone through. Work songs from the field evolved into lively hymns, and your Sunday best comes from a past where Sunday was the only time to dress. We're in the sanctuary. Black churches were the first institutions run independent of white society, but despite separation of church and state, politics still have leaders on high alert. You take a vow on the Bible to protect the Constitution, not a party. From the pulpit to the pews, churches have been pivotal in movements for social justice. In 2024, he says that still makes them targets. I am concerned about the hate that's being spewed and with impunity. Burleson's prepared for the months ahead. For half a century, friendship's faith has conquered hate. I think through the pain and the suffering, the adversities and the vicissitudes of life, things that come your way, it makes you better, not bitter. Now, despite Colorado's African-American population being around 4%, there are still quite a few historically black churches in this state. Friendship prides itself on being a safe place to worship for all backgrounds. We're live in Denver, Tori Mason covering Colorado First. I love that. Thank you for taking us inside, Tori. Appreciate it.